guys, I just wanted to quickly jump on here before this video starts and just wish everyone love and light. I'm sending it all your way. I really hope that you're all healthy and safe. So this video that you're about to watch now was filmed in February of 2020 and I was actually in New Zealand at the time, but now I'm finally home in my home bedroom editing this video for you. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you get some insight from it. And I just wanted to come and say hi from the present Lauren, <laughs> not past Lauren that was back then on our own. I was actually isolating pretty much during that time by myself in New Zealand. So yeah, enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please, leave, please, bleh. if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Love and light to you all. Peace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day where I maintain my hair. So I actually wanted to show you my hair now currently because I've actually had it in this bun for like a week. I'm gonna take this down in front of you. Whoa. Sometimes I forget how long it is when I haven't had it down for a few days. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> when I do maintenance of my hair, I'm not gonna be doing the stem here of the dread. I'm only gonna be focusing on the roots of my head, my scalp, all of the scalp area. The reason I'm showing you this now, I like to wash my hair before I do maintenance. So I'm actually not gonna be maintaining my hair until tomorrow because this takes hours to dry. Today is the perfect day because it is so goddamn muggy here in New Zealand. Oh my goodness, the air is so thick and hot. It's the perfect day to wash my hair because my hair will dry really quick. <laughs> so cute. Let's go and wash this barnet. Barnet! Yeah. I hear a fly. Don't worry, you're not gonna come in the shower with me. So, before I actually wash my hair, what I wanna do is just brush my ends out, which is this bit, because they get really, really knotty. Probably gonna put some coconut oil in the ends as well. But this is the whole process of me, bloody hell, maintenance for myself. How long it is, oh God, it's crazy. Usually I use a dreadlock shampoo just because they smell really good. But today, I have not got any of my dread shampoo left. I'm just gonna use this OGX. Fucking hell, it smells like butter. I'm gonna use this instead. This is my hair now and I'm gonna get in the shower and wash it and then I have to just wait all day, basically. I've got 52 dreadlocks. It's just gonna take me a long time and I'm probably gonna get blisters on my fingers because I usually do. Anyway, I'm procrastinating. Let's go and wash this bun out of mine. Hey guys, so it's currently half eight in the evening right now and my hair is still wet, <laughs> which is crazy because it's actually such a hot day. So. When you get out of the shower, I always wear a towel for like an hour. If you've got loose ends like this, I recommend giving it a brush while it's wet and also separate all your dreads apart. Make sure that the dreads aren't forming together. Hey guys, welcome back. I have waited until 20 to eight in the evening. I've got a little bowl of snacks here. I've got a cup of tea, I've got some water. I've got a mirror in front of me here. And this is the crochet needle that I'm using. Oh. Right, it's basically impossible for me to show you this up close because it was just so thin. I'm using a crochet needle that is 0 0.6 millimeters. So it's a really small hook here at the end. You can't see it, I'm sorry, but yeah, it's a really small hook. And this is all I've ever been using since I've been doing maintenance on myself. I'm gonna stick on some Netflix now and then I will get to this barnet. So, so I'm gonna start from the top here. I have a row in the middle here that I wanna get done and out the way. And then once I've done this row, I will start working my way around. And then basically just work my way down because I'd rather the top bit be done in case I can't finish it all. So if I don't finish it all in time, at least the bottom bit is not really showing and it just looks tidier on the top. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I just wanna say quick, <clears throat> this is what I mean about your dreads forming together. If you can see, this is what happens sometimes. So they've joined together here. So I'm gonna have to rip this. And I hate, I hate doing it, but it's gotta be done because otherwise they'll just 
keep keep growing growing ugh, keep growing out like that <laughs> can't speak today what i just did there i've just separated the thread so i'm pinching all the hair together like this and what i'm going to do with the crochet needle is the end that's hooked that comes around this way i'm going to feed this through and with my fingers on this side i'm going to feel the hook go through and then hook the hairs that are on the other side and pull them back through you can see here there's a bit of hair poking up here don't mind my flaky head and what i'm going to do is feed this through like this and start bringing the hair back through. And what you guys want to do as well is move it around. So don't just feed it all back in that same spot. Pick up different areas. Like there was a lump that side. So I'm going to feed that through. And then as you can see, it's starting to come together. So that's done. You can see the difference between that and this. So this is what it would look like originally. And this is what it looks like after. So I'm gonna crack on with the whole head and yeah, just keep watching if you wanna see. Um, peace. I'm watching an episode of you i'm on like the second season towards the end and oh my goodness me oh my goodness me highly recommend it if anybody likes some weird like mysterious stuff but whoa <gasps> anyway i'm going to carry on with this get in there i'm getting there about 20 past 11 in the evening and I started doing this at, I think it was like 7.40, like eight. So I managed to get like half my head done in that time. I wanna do just one more row. Once you start going, I'm sorry, this is, I don't know why I've still got this in. Once you start going, you kind of wanna carry on. I do anyway, cause I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Let me count how many I managed to do. Remember I've got 52 dreadlocks, but I've done maintenance on 25 dreads, which is like nearly, nearly half. Like I'm just, just on the cusp of to have done half of my dreads. So I'm gonna do, this row and then i'll be finished for today and then i'll only have a short row left so oh there's some stuff together there can you see that here look here oh yes so i'm gonna do one more row which will be Okay, so if I do these 11 more, I would have done 36 dreadlocks. So I'll only have, uh, uh, I can't talk, I'm so tired. I only have 16 left to do, which shouldn't take me any time really. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on watching you. It's getting so good, I'm literally nearly at the end now, but wow. Oh my God, what 
a plot. The plot thickened, let me tell you. Well, <laughs> you. I'm gonna carry on watching that and then go to bed, so. Oh my God. It is one in the morning and I have done that row, so it took me two hours basically to do that. So I've been doing maintenance for six hours and I managed to get more than half done. I've got about 32 done. So yeah, tomorrow I've got 16 left. Wait, is that right? It looks drastically different, I think. As soon as maintenance is done on the top, it just changes it. I feel like it changes the whole look. It makes me feel really flat and I've got no volume at all in my hair, but I wanna keep it that way, to be honest, because it looks neat and clean and tidy. And it smells amazing as well. Mm. I'm gonna go to sleep now, because I'm so tired. So good night. <laughs> I will see you in the morning. <laughs> well actually see you in a second because that's how videos go <laughs> anyway night i am so tired i'm gonna go to sleep good night good night good night oh so it is the next day as you can see my hair is looking really tidy from here up i have to fix all of this at the bottom here it kind of looks a little bit crazy, but here is looking really, really sharp and tidy, which is good. So I've got 17 dreads left to maintain and it is four o'clock in the afternoon. So we're just gonna get cracking with this bonnet. It feels uncomfortable when it's first maintained just because it's not used to being that stiff. So it is kind of um, a bit sensitive on the, the old scalp. Wow, don't I look sexy? <laughs> Oh my god, it literally feels like it's giving me a facelift. I'm not even joking. <laughs> ah! Okay, I am ready. <laughs> do I not look like an egg? Like an egg with a hat or something. It's 17 to do, so let's get cracking. I'm going to show you what it looks like. show you after yay i'm so happy when this is done i'm gonna be buzzing <laughs> So I finished, finally. I'm just gonna take it down and show you. Oh goodness me, oh my God. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Now that it's all maintained from the roots. I'll show you from behind. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna brush all the ends out and then I'm gonna put some coconut oil in the ends so that it keeps them really soft and moisturized. Usually this coconut oil is completely solid and it's just like, <gasps> oh my God. Why am I so annoying? What made me think that was clever? Just rub it in my skin, why not? That was okay. This is the last bit, guys, I promise. It's a bit of a mission for me because obviously the hair's so long. Hello, 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 welcome to my bathroom. As you can see, it looks really tidy on the top here. So yeah, this is the finished product, guys. This is what my hair looks like, basically the same <laughs> once I've done maintenance, but I do feel like it's super tidy. I'm going to close off the video here. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope that it helped any of you if you're unsure on how to do maintenance on your own hair. If you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. It was a long, <laughs> a long-awaited process. Take care of yourselves. 